How's it going guys? Welcome back to more WWE 2K14 news and content. Now another couple of big days for the game ahead. Gonna have plenty of news because we've got another live stream later today which always shows a lot of cool stuff so expect a breakdown of that live stream probably coming sometime tomorrow. But before we get to that, a few bits of news and info that have come out over the last seven days, mostly from the new WWE Games exclusive trailer, which I haven't had a chance to cover yet on my channel, so let's do that now and get straight into it. I'll be linking the trailer in the description below, by the way. I think it's probably my favourite one yet. Showed some really cool stuff that we're going to be speaking about now. So the trailer showed some of the brand new OMG moments including the double A8, the double shell shocked and the double choke slam as well. All look really good. I really love the double choke slam. I think that one's got to be my favourite out of the three. But the trailer also confirmed some other things including some new moves. So we saw the Undertaker doing his trademark WrestleMania dive over the top rope. We know Takers had some diving moves in the previous games but not his actual one, so unless it's a cutscene, his actual diving move has been added to this year's game. We did see some other new animations as well, including The Rock's new Spinebreaster again with the taunt, and also Dolph Ziggler's Tweet Zigzag finisher animation. The trailer also showed some champions, so presumably the champions it showed are going to be the default champions on the game, whether that be in Exhibition Mode or Universe Mode. The champions it showed included Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins as the tag team champions, Dean Ambrose as the United States champion and AJ Lee as the Divas champion as well. And obviously guys, as we can see, all the titles and all the championships do look really good this year. Hopefully we're going to be getting plenty of them for Universe Mode and stuff like that and hopefully we'll get some more confirmed sometime soon. But now onto my favourite part of the trailer and what it showed and what it's confirmed, that being the brand new catching and catapult finishers. So obviously we've had quite a few of these confirmed over the last month or two and we had even more confirmed here. We had the catching F5 and catching ball hammer confirmed and it also showed the catapult spur as well but of course we've already seen that before. But some really cool stuff there. I do still think the catapult finishers are a little bit out of place in the game. Don't really make sense from you know a simulation kind of standpoint. But they do look really fun to do. So I'm definitely going to be trying those out. The catching variations though do look really good. And I'll definitely be taking advantage of them on my upcoming WWE 2K14 Universe mode. So the trailer also showed quite a few cutscenes. Which hopefully point towards the inclusion of story editor in this year's game. It also showed the pre-show fireworks for War and Smackdown, so if those have been added for this year's universe mode, or whether they're from story designer like in 13, we don't know yet. Hopefully we'll get that confirmed soon. But story editor was rumoured to be removed a little while back now, but I can't really see them doing that. So I'm not really sure what that would you know achieve in terms of taking it out. And as I already mentioned, the trailer did show quite a few cutscenes. So hopefully that does mean the story editor is going to be included. And hopefully, either way, that is going to be confirmed later on today in the live stream. And guys, speaking of the stream, that is where we are going to be ending this one. The WWE 2K14 Creation Suite live stream is coming later today. It is going to be 12 noon Pacific time over there in the States and over here in the UK. That means 8 p.m. So the live streams are normally pretty fun. Hopefully it's going to be confirming plenty of new stuff and give us some confirmations on Story Editor and stuff like that. As I mentioned at the top of the video, I will be doing a breakdown of the new info in that stream. But as I said before, I'll probably be leaving that until tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. But very quickly before we do end the video, if you missed my WWE 13 Universe Mode Survivor Series pay-per-view yesterday, it is the last one in the series. And I thought it went really well and did a good job of transitioning going into 2K14. So a quick plug here for that. I would definitely appreciate you guys going over and showing that video some love. 
even if you're not a fan of universe mode, do me a favor and give it a shot. It's a bit different to what most people do in terms of universe mode, so you just never know, you might actually like it. But anyway, that is gonna be it for this one. Again, expect much more from me coming very, very soon. And make sure you subscribe because we have got a ton of 2K14 content planned for release. So you're definitely going to want to be around for that. But until next time, this has been 101. I appreciate you guys watching as always. And I will see you all on the next one.